If you saw this creature in your garden, you would assume it's an insect. I mean, it's got six legs, so it must be an insect, right? But it looks like an earwig. So why is this animal not an insect? If you look closely, you can see it has no wings or wing covers like you see on an earwig. It also has no eyes. So what is it? It's a dipleuron in the order Dipleura and the genus is Heterojapix. I found this creature under a log at my place. It used to be thought that all animals with six legs were insects. I mean, that's what I learnt at school. It is now widely accepted that there are two groups of six-legged invertebrates. Firstly, the insects, which are classified in the class Insecta, and that includes everything from uh, silverfish to cockroaches to beetles to butterflies and so on. But Heterojapix is different. It is an entognathus hexapod. Entognathus is a big word which simply means inside jaw, which refers to how their mouth parts are usually enclosed in folds of the head unless they have pushed them out um, for feeding. And of course, the word hexapod means six legs. The mouth parts of insects are not hidden, so they are known as ectognathus, meaning outside jaw. Their mouth parts project outwards from the head. Just think of the curly proboscis of a butterfly or the mandibles of a beetle. There are three orders of entognathus hexapods. Firstly, our guy, the Dipleura, rarely seen hexapods known as Protura, and springtails, which you are probably familiar with, of the order Calembola. As well as hidden mouth parts, these three orders have a few other things in common. Firstly, they are all wingless. Secondly, there is no visible change in form between life cycle stages except size, meaning they don't go through a process of metamorphosis and are therefore known as ametabolous. Insects, on the other hand, are usually either hollow metabolous or hemimetabolous. There is a bug basics on insect life cycles linked up here in the cards. Thirdly, these hexapods reproduce by indirect fertilization. Once a male has found a female, he deposits a packet of sperm known as a spermatophore onto the ground. She will then fertilize herself using the sperm in the spermatophore. If you like this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. Now let's look at those three orders of Entognathus hexapods in a little more detail, starting with the Dipleura. There are about 30 described species of Dipleura in Australia. They vary greatly in form and size from pale, delicate hexapods about five millimetres long to robust earwig-like species, such as Heterojapix, which can grow up to um, 50 millimetres long. Dipleurans have no eyes, but do have a pair of antennae. They also have a pair of abdominal appendages known as circe. Circe are thin filaments in some species, but robust and pincer-like in other species, such as heterojapix. Some dipleurans are herbivorous, others are omnivorous, but some species are carnivorous, and our specimen is carnivorous. Heterojapix waits buried in the soil with only its pincers protruding above the surface, waiting patiently for some prey to wander by. This is what I saw when I rolled back that log, a pair of pincers protruding from the ground. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It's the only time I've ever found one of these amazing creatures. The Protura are rarely seen less than two millimetres long pale hexapods, which may occur in soil, leaf litter, moss and decaying wood. There are about 30 species or so that occur in Australia. They have no eyes or antennae and they hold their front legs forward, apparently to feel their way around. By far the largest of the Entognathus hexapods are the springtails, Calembola. There are at least a couple of thousand species in Australia and many of them are undescribed. They are called springtails because at the tip of their abdomen, they have a prong known as a furca that is folded back like a spring. When released, the springtail is launched into the air. Springtails are usually tiny animals, one to three millimetres long, 
Almost all springtails are considered beneficial species because they contribute to the breakdown of organic matter. There is only one pest species in Australia that was introduced um, probably from Europe known as the lucerne flea, which may damage emerging seedlings in southern Australia. Springtails don't have true eyes, but they have clusters of light sensing organs known as ocelli on either side of their head. You can see the ocelli on the head of this springtail. And while looking at that, you can also see just how cute some springtails are. If you want to see some other tiny but amazing invertebrates, check this video out up here. And thanks for watching.